There's been one truly unforgettable Christmas thus far in my brief lifetime. I'll tell you how my father did it all those years ago. And many a bright and shiny Christmas day had come before, and many have since passed. Moody lights reflecting their images off Christmas bells and Christmas balls and Christmas angels and Christmas stars and wrinkled tinsel saved from year to year, glimmering off a dark green fir tree cut somewhere up north and trucked down to the same roadside spot we went to every year until it wasn't there anymore. Every year a mountain of presents lay beneath and all about the tree. Mom stayed up all night wrapping them in red and green and silver and gold Christmas paper. You could hear the tape being torn and the paper being bent. And all the while you're desperately trying to fall asleep so as to continue pretending to believe in Santa Claus like your mom and dad wanted you to. Every year a mountain of presents, but my parents weren't rich. Dad managed a grocery store. He get up at four every morning, drive into the city, manage his store, and come home all tired and shaky, a brown bag holding a six pack tucked tightly beneath his arm. Mom stayed home most of the time, worked when things were really tight, and tried to cook meals in a kitchen so small you could barely fit two people in it. Every year a mountain of presents, one falling off the other, placed casually yet carefully to assure that each child got theirs. Every year, save this particular one, the one I'll never forget, I'll tell you how he did it all those years ago. He found an old gray shoebox, probably stashed in the back of a closet. He dusted it off, and with a pen on the cover of the box, he wrote, to Kathy, Pat, John, and David from Mom and Dad. And on this particular Christmas day, that shoebox was the only box resting beneath the tree when we all got up in the morning and made our way out to the living room. Inside the empty shoebox, Dad had written, Kid, this box looks empty to you, but it's not. This box is filled with all the hopes, the joys, the fears, the dreams, and the wishes your mother and I hold for each of you. It's filled with the love we have for you and the gratitude we feel for having you in our lives. This box may look empty to you, but it's filled with the greatest gifts we could ever give you. Keep it and know that we love each of you more than any words or any presence could ever show. Love, Mom and Dad. There was more inside the box than that. Inside the box, there was war and hunger, sacrifice and suffering. Uncertainty, doubt, and regret were in there too. There were sleepless nights and screams of anger inside the box. Words that should never have been spoken were in there, regretted immediately upon being uttered. For inside that box were both love and hate. But there were the memories of the first step, of the first kiss inside that box. The gift of having one's life filled up with healthy children, boundless energy, with songs and stories at night to put them to sleep. And alongside that was the resignation that no matter what my parents did, no matter how hard my parents tried, their children would never really understand. Dad had my older sister, Pat, read the box for the rest of us. And we were a very fortunate family indeed, for after the tears were shed and wiped away, the huge bounty of presents came from out of the closet, and we had our big and shiny Christmas day. But don't ask me what my presents were that year, because now, pushing 50, I can only remember one of them.